thank you for checking out this video. I know this is totally not cute, um, but thank you. Hopefully I get a better background uh, next time. But for the weekly unboxing, and I have unboxed already, I'm going to try so hard to be good with my patience for the next few weeks, but I am not strong. Um, so the first thing that I got this week was this book, which I still need to read. Uh, Nightwing Rising from the Batman Adventures. I am a huge Dick Grayson, D-I-C-K Grayson fan, so I'm really excited to read this. Batman, um, the animated series, is definitely um, a really good show that I really enjoyed. So I'm looking forward to that. I the biggest item I got this week was a huge, huge box of Japanese um, manga. Um, I do not have it to show you. I'll tell you why. Um, the series is that I got some books for included Pokemon, Animal Crossing, uh, Tenoki and Kitsune, um, Tenoki and Fox, A Man and His Cat, Fruits Basket, Skip Beat, Special Wave, Full Metal Alchemist, Detective Conan, and Dragon Ball and Pokemon. So a lot of books. Um, it was about 15 pounds of books. Really happy with that purchase. Um, Skip Beat is kind of annoying me right now, but I have been reading it for over a decade. And Special Way is one of my absolute favorites. So if you have, if you like manga and haven't read that one, uh, check it out. It's S.A. by Maki Minami. Definitely a great read. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the main box for this week. And I did open it. So I have seen everything. I do not pay for it. What what am I talking about? Of course I pay for it. I pay like $100 a month. Um, I do not get it for free. So it is an honest review and I really enjoy it. Um, my one critic, critique would be um, maybe a few less box lunch items since I could easily access those myself. Um, but I like what they picked. Um, they picked it for a reason. It really suits me. So I'll show you what is inside. So one of my favorite books. Main Street Mail, and I just uh, renewed my three month subscription, so I'll be getting some um, more as time goes by. I have already read this, um, but I'm going to share it with you guys at the end. So, the first thing I'm going to pull out was something that made me really excited. So you can't see it here, but they got me a Disney pillowcase. And I did put pillowcases and home items on my uh, wish list, but this is so me. So it's pink and striped, two things I love. It's also got Marie on it. And I've actually never seen this before. So we have the pillowcase on one side, pillowcase on the other side, and I'm definitely gonna be putting this on my bed. Um, very soon. Just wanted to show you guys before I did so. Okay. So I did already own this um, next item. So it's not really a surprise, but I know that it'll probably sell pretty well on my eBay. Um, so it is a uh, one of um, one of a set of five pins of Tiana. And the main reason I got that set of pins from the Oh My Disney was for the um, pin of Max and Eric, which is super cute. Um, that's one of my favorite pins that I own. So I do have this one, but it is a great pin. So the next item I'm going to pull out, um, I did see a Hot Topic, but it is my favorite one of this box, which is a Loungefly wallet. What is so cute about this Winnie the Pooh is that it does look like the book and it doesn't have Gopher because he's not in the books, you know. Um, so it's got a cute little um, board right there. It does allow room for a keychain and then it, un it unbuttons. You get some parts are destined across and then 
more places to put like your ID, your cards, money if people are taking cash these days. Super cute. Then the next item was, I already opened this. So I recently bought myself um, two of these and I got Perdita and Lady. Um, Perdita kind of didn't look like herself, it was kind of like um, maybe like a B on a range, but I loved Lady. So no surprise, I was really hoping for Tramp, but I was like, hey, if I get um, Max or Copper, I'm going to be pretty happy too, but I got the one I really wanted, so I got this little Tramp figure, and he gets to go with my lady. So I'm super happy about that. The next item I got was um, this box, this little set of Japanese envelopes, which feature Ariel and have some um, stickers on the back. So again, with those mangas, I'm a huge fan of Japanese culture. So these envelopes, which might um, be like a throwaway item to other people, I really enjoyed, um, really happy with that. And I can read uh, this, so I'm not sure what it says, because it says um, po bo pochi um, on it. And I guess that means like, pouch or a letter my japanese is so rusty um but hopefully i get to review that <laughs> next item in here is this set of sticky notes and again lady in the tramp i really love lady in the tramp so i'm super happy that i got like my tramp little figure i don't know if they knew it was tramp or if that was just magic um and the um the stickers here so lady and the tramp is my fifth favorite movie and uh princess and the frog is my third favorite i am always looking for uh, new beauty and the beast items and I'm taking a break from lilo and stitch but that would be my uh, second favorite movie um, Lady the Tramp is fifth actually, and then third uh, would fourth would be Aladdin, and sixth would be Hercules. So before I get to the gym shot in here, which is super cute again, I also got this set of um a hat of an oven glove and dish towels, and I like how understated these are as well. So they've got like a nice checkered pattern. And when I move out and have my own kitchen, I really want like check floorboards, although I don't think you get to check choose a tile. Um, but I'm hoping for like blacks and pinks and whites and check patterns. So this will go great. Um, I like that the towels are really soft. It would be cute if they had different designs, but this means if I have one in the wash, or in my laundry pile, I don't have to uh, worry about washing it to get the other one. So that's cute. <laughs> and then the last item is um, the gym show. So this is a smaller one. It is poo. So I actually got like a non-seasonal one from the uh, from the Main Street Mail in I believe my first box, and I really loved it. So this can go on the other side of the shelf. It is a holiday poo. So it's just like the other one I got, but this one is holiday. So nice set. And then last but definitely not least, I got my little um, poo as uh, either a lion or just a, just a lion or maybe the cowardly lion. Although poo is probably a coward, it would be more piglet. Um, but super cute to go with my little poo, Jim Shaw. And it says, we hope you enjoy the items we selected for you. Have a magical day. Well, I definitely will try. So, going back to the spoiler sheet. Um, and then I've got a couple of other things, not from Main Street Mail, to go through to show you guys. 
Um, so on the uh, spoiler sheet, I pay uh, about $100 for the box and it came up to a value of $111.59. So a little bit over what I paid, which is great. Um, so Japanese celebration envelopes are $6. The figure is $26. The pin is $8. The mystery keychain is a $7.90 plus a got tram, so that adds to something. Um, kitchen set is $19.90. The wallet was $22.90, which I think is a good deal. Um, I know there have been some coupons flying around, but I like it. I, I didn't choose to buy it, so I like it. Um, the sticky notes were $7.90 and the pillowcase was $13. So I got um, some great items, I got some poo items, which was cute, Lady in the Tramp, totally happy with that, and I got some useful items, and we all like useful items as well. So the next items aren't really that useful, but they are fun. Um, I've got my bling and my sparkle buff from uh, Bibbity, oh my gosh. Um, so I'm not sure which is which, so I'm gonna, but I have opened both of them. So I'm gonna open this one first, which turns out to be the bling box. And I am continuing with my bling box. Um, I'm not getting the sparkle box, at least not for now. I cancelled that subscription. Um, basically I've got a lot of stickers that I need to use before I can get more stickers, but I do enjoy the pins. And these pins were kind of perfect because most times I like one pin and then I, I don't really like the other pin. Um, but these ones, I love both of them and they both can go in different collections of mine. So super happy with these. I um, feel like they were chosen for me apart from Cinder's upside down. So you get these two. You get Stitch, he's up to no good, and you get the Simba. And I actually collect cat pins, do not have this cat pin. So that is perfect for me. I know it's totally random, but I'm really happy that I got those. Last but not least is the Sparkle Box. Again, I am not going to be getting these in the future. Maybe I'll get one around Christmas for December, but I don't think so. Um, just because it turned out to be like I wasn't using them, so I felt like turning it off would be one less package to worry about. So got some stickers, got Eeyore, a Mickey head with cobwebs, a Mickey pumpkin, Minnie with her little pot, uh, which is brew, and then Jack and Sally as the magnet. So those ones are really cute. However, if you want to see here, these are all my stickers. So you can kind of um, hopefully understand why I have to take a break from getting the stickers. Uh, these are not all um, from the sparkle boxes, but a pretty good selection of them all. And I've nearly filled my box. So great haul this week, uh, great items. Um, I do have some unboxings for next week. I'm not, probably not going to show you guys, but I am getting a Stitch Fix, which is um, a styled box for like fashion. Um, but yeah, super happy with what I received this month. I think this is uh, probably my favorite of the Main Street Mail boxes I've had so far. And hopefully I will get a better filming location for next time. Well, thank you so much for checking out this ultra long video. I really appreciate it. I have also started making some other Disney videos, which I am not going to force you guys to check out. But there's um, stuff like character analysis. I just finished um, a video on the Cape of Wonders. It's still very new, um, so I'm not going to tell you guys to like go tell your friends or anything that they're on my channel if you want. I just thought that there was a lot of people who weren't making uh, quality content, and I'm not saying these are quality content. My voice is kind of 
pretty low, the images aren't great, but they are educational and informative, which I really like in a video and hope to improve upon. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching and bearing with me for this whole time. I truly appreciate it and have a great rest of your day. Uh, wear a mask, stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you soon.